Of Uzbekistan and Guam are entering the ground. Please make sure to follow the players. Game 26. Uzbekistan. Down to seven players now. You've got a feel for them. And Guam. Uzbekistan only turned up with eight players. And one of those went to hospital yesterday with a suspected concussion. Got, took a nasty clash of heads against Japan. Guam getting the one win yesterday over South Korea. Got a fancy Guam for this one. Uzbekistan yet to score a try in the series uh, after seven games. And Guam looked to be working nicely into their work yesterday. Some combination started. They had an entertaining win over South Korea. 19 points to 15. Here goes Sarah to Gualta. That one's just too far in front of Olivia Flores. She can't take it without pinging a hamstring. And so first line out of the day. Uzbekistan <whistles> player had to go for an MRI scan yesterday. And we hope she's okay. It was a nasty, sickening clash of heads. Here come the Guamis again. This is a good, strong run from Levana Piper. Gives it to Flores, and that's how she plays. Loves the contact. Now they're quite wide. A Guam. As the Letitia Blast takes it up over the 22. You could chuck a blanket over Uzbekistan. They're not really lining up on defence. That's a good straight line on the inside by Erika Kachichol. And first points of the day for Guam. They really are starting to look more cohesive on day two. And at the end of day one. That'll please Coach Dean Kayo. Bang! Off the right foot goes Kichucho. And that's her fourth try. Fifth try of the tournament. She's on fire. Good restart from Guam. Uzbekistan had all sorts of trouble taking those balls yesterday. And just see there, just unsure what to do. A lack of drill work in that part of the game. And here come Guam again. That's Tagwalta, Kayla Tagwalta. Three sisters in the side out of a national number of like 25 players. Incredible. Sporting family, obviously. Joyce Boha takes it into contact. And referee Just Wang from Singapore says a bit of a knockdown there. Here's Kayla Tagwalta with the ball at her feet. Kichicho has 
the taste for tries now. Wants to get more. One of the leading try scorers in this tournament at this stage. Here she goes. Can anyone stop her? No, they can't. Erika Kachicho is in for number two and try number six. And I'm just going to have to get some stats on this. Where she stands in the try scoring statistics. Yes, she is now the leading try scorer by some way. Emily Sieur from Hong Kong is on five, and Tang Ming Lin from China is on four. But at the moment, Number Erica Kachicho is owning top try scorer with six, and that's very encouraging for her and Guam. Kick was good, so it's 40 nil as a number of restart is bobbled, but backwards. So here come Uzbekistan. Not releasing that was the tackler on this occasion, so a penalty for Uzbekistan. The Uzbekistani battlers. That's a healthy looking kick, beautiful kick downfield, picking up nearly 50 metres there. Good work. Now Uzbekistan with a rare foray into opposition territory, still looking for their first try of the series. And it's bobbled around off their line out, but somehow they've got it back. Here they come now. Someone's got a straighten here. That looks like it's a bit round the neck. Referee's got his arm up. Yep. Tap and go, Uzbekistan. This is Genji Muratova. Good hustling on defense by Leticia Blas. On the ground, Levana Piper toes it through. And a little knock on, so Uzbekistan struggling just to make use of the ball when they've got it. At the same time, good hustling defence from Guam. There's Levana Piper. <laughs> Kayla Tagwalta with a feed on the 10 metre line as the hooter has gone now. Here goes Olivia Flores. She comes round on the double round. Erika Kachocho is on the outside looking for a hat trick. She goes in to support Flores. The ball comes back. This is good by Guam. Good continuity. Levana Piper takes it up to the 22. She's been prominent in this last couple of minutes. Looking for a last score, a third score after the Hooter. There seems to be an overlap out there. Flores looking for a pass. Letitia Blast decides to come back in on off her right foot. Kayla Tagualta to Joyce Boha. Boha takes it up now. Three Uzbekistanis on her. Here comes Erika Kichocho, and she's in for a third try. And out she goes to seven tries. Daylight between her and anybody else. What a half from her and from Guam. Three tries and a red card actually from the referee there off screen. Maybe something happened after the touchdown we'll have to have a look but that will put Uzbekistan down to six
Kichicho converts her own try. Oh, it's a hair pull. Oh, that can happen. Here's the lead up work through Blast. Here comes Kichucho and untouched under the posts. And that'll be very pleasing for coach Dean Kayo and the management team to come all this way. It's always a tough day for them on day one. But they've really warmed into their work against South Korea yesterday and they're continuing that good work in poor old Uzbekistan with only seven players to choose from and now one is off for two for the rest of the game. I'm not sure if it was a yellow or red. Saw a couple of hair pulls in Hong Kong by the Uzbekistanis. And sometimes with the long hair, and most of the Guam players have long hair, so do the Sri Lankans, they're not here to this tournament, but sometimes they can just pop into your hand. You might not mean to give it a tug, but I don't think she went through with it. She didn't try to pull her head off or anything. There's Dean Kayo in there. Travels up from New Zealand to coach the ladies team through the series. Along with Peter Hunt, the physio from New Zealand, and manager Steve Grantham. They haven't got much to work with in Guam. Small pool of players, but it's good to see the improvements being made tournament to tournament. Not very satisfying for everybody. Seven tries to Erika Kichucho. Again, Uzbekistan just... No one seems really confident of what to do at these restarts. So the winner of this will face Singapore in the battle for 5th and 6th. And Guam-Singapore could be a good match. Here goes... Kayla Tagwalta from the base of the scrum. She a bit untidy. She had to do some work there to get it secured. Now she's going to just nudge it towards the corner. That's a good kick. Getting down close now. About 15 metres out from the Uzbekistan line. And these shorter ground players need to have good technique at the line out. It's Kayla Takwalta on your screen there. And it goes to Flores soaring high. Good technique again off the top. And here they come through Kayla Tagwalta. And here she goes again. Erica Kachocho. Try number four. And try number eight. She is running red hot right now. Good work from set phase off the top, through the hands, simple hands, and they're against six players, always going to be an overlap. Kayla Tagwalta with the extras, so 28 points to nil. Here we see it again, always going to be an overlap. Uzbekistan unable to get across. And she has eyes only for the try line today. They, they're going to meet Singapore, the battle for 5th and 6th, and if they play like this, it could be a good game. Here we go, Uzbekistan um, able to take the restart this time, but let's look at their exits. They throw it back crazily for 20 metres. They've lost some ground. Now they're going to have to run it out 80 metres. Tackle from Kachicho. Here she goes. No, I don't believe it. She's been pulled down this time. Incredible stuff. Kimberly Tagwalta is on hand. The third sister. Just a metre now. And there's... Erica is in there just hungry for try number five. Some sort of record looming here. This is Sarah Tagwalta. And she goes in for an easy run in for try number five. 
Her first try of the tournament. And every try converted. Five converted tries. Here as we look at it again, the defence just not communicating. And they're back on their heels, not coming forward. And made it relatively easy. First try this tournament. Good for her. This restart has found some grass. And Zarina Ajisanova picks it up and goes. Hands from Alina Sereziva. And here we see a line break finally from the Uzbekis, Umida Abdul Karimova, up to the 10 meter line now. This is better from Uzbekistan. Just with six players on the field. There's a red card for a hair pull earlier. There's the mistake. Kimberly Tagwalta is going to overlap here. They just have to get the hands going. Here's Borja. Puts a big fend on Alina Sidaziva. Olivia Flores, she knows only one way, and that's straight and hard. Can she reach out? No double movement, says referee Just Wang. He was right on the spot there, so Flores denied. And good desperate defense from six. Six-woman effort from Uzbekistan now with a kick under their posts. A long way to touch, so just going down the middle now and hoping for 30 seconds of respite, but there is none as Kimberly Tagwalta comes back hard, running straight into Abdul Karimova. Erika Kichicho is loitering on the wing there. Here goes Flores again. This time gives a pass out, a bit of a sloppy one to Joyce Borja. It's been knocked on, and just a couple of minutes remaining. There's some subs being made by both, or by Guam. Uzbekistan don't have any subs. have to feel for Uzbekistan. I saw them applauding Guam's victory over South Korea yesterday. So there's a real empathy, maybe camaraderie between these two teams that are lesser ranked in Asia. But they travel a long way. They come here and you can see the improvements being here she goes, Erika Chichocho this time hands it on to Brooke Pangalinen who's just come on and knocked it on. Couldn't believe it. She's going to go straight in for a try. Unselfish from Kichicho. She could have scored try number five. Defensive scrum for Uzbekistan. They managed to get the heel. And scooting around with it is Sedaziva. Now it's Abdul Karimova. It's tough, hard work getting out of there as Kayla Tagwalta gets over it and wins the ball for Guam. Here goes Flores again. Gets one around the neck but keeps her feet. Good hands and this time Brooke Pangalinen holds on to it to get her first try of the tournament. Taking Guam up to a 40 point lead. As the Huda sounds, it's a comprehensive effort by Guam. They'll be chuffed with that as they go into their final match later against Singapore. And just to seal things off, Kayla Tagwalta, a clean sheet today Six conversions for her, five tries for Erika Kichicho, and there are big smiles down there, and here's the final try being scored by Brooke Pangalinen.
본 경기가 방송 종료되었으며 광팀이 우즈베키스탄 팀을 42대 0으로 이겼습니다. And the next game between Japan and Thailand will start at 11:29 a.m. 다음 경기는 일본과 태국 경기로 11시 10분에 시작됩니다. This game was all about this woman, Erika Kicicho, running in five tries and taking her personal tally to eight, putting her firmly at the top of the top try scorers for this tournament. What an achievement for her. Thank you. 